It's a beautifully hot sunny Sunday afternoon in Ponty Pandy and the folk of Ponty Pandy are waiting at the tram stop. They're waiting for Trevor Evans. They plan to have a trip around the village and to end up at the beach. They are all prepared for their trip. They've bought their swimming costumes. Dennis Price has packed some sandwiches. Helen Flood has got some sausage rolls. And Radar is so excited to be going into the sea and he might catch a stick or two. They had only been waiting a few minutes and naughty Norman Price was already bored. Oh man, where's the tram? Where's Trevor Evans? Norman, behave yourself. He won't be long, said Dillis Price. But Norman wanted to have a run around. So he started to chase the purple minion. But luckily Trevor Evans turned up in the tram in the nick of time before Naughty Norman and the purple minion could get into too much trouble. It's a beautiful city liner tram and Trevor Evans is very proud of it and spent all day long yesterday cleaning and polishing it. How do folks, says Trevor Evans. Right, all aboard my lovely tram and off we go. So first on board were the Flood family. That's Mike Flood, Helen Flood and their little girl Mandy. They couldn't wait to spend a lovely day together in the sunshine. And next it's Dillis Price's turn to get onto the tram. She's brought along Radar. She can't wait to spend the time by the sea and also with Trevor Evans. She's a little bit sweet on Trevor Evans so she's going to have a lovely day. And lastly Naughty Norman Price and the Purple Minion need to get on. But where are they? They've opened the doors behind Trevor Evans and are going to sneak in there. Oh, they are being mischievous. Well, everybody's on board, so it's time to head off. Trevor Evans was just making sure that his passengers were comfortable. Ah, oh, righty-ho, let's be on our way. Trevor shut the tram door and off he went. But here comes the Road Ripper's dumper truck. It was swerving all over the place. The back of the truck was full of M&Ms. Oh no! The tipper truck has lost its load of M&Ms and they're all over the tram track and the road. But goodness me, the front of the vehicle is smoking. And the flames spread to the tram. Trevor Evans leapt out of the tram and made sure all of his passengers were standing at a safe distance away. The purple minion was feeling a little scared but Nurse Flood comforted him and made sure that he was all okay. Goodness me, said Trevor Evans. The flames are spreading. I need to get help quick. I need to ring Fireman Sam. Sam now in Jupiter and his boy Elvis Cridlington and Penny Morris to help with the emergency. Elvis Cridlington's in charge of crowd control. He's making sure that everybody keeps well back and at a safe distance, especially that naughty Norman Price. 
great fires of London, says Fireman Sam. This fire is beginning to take hold. We need to act quickly, Penny. You go on the super soaker and I'll get the super soaking hose. Penny stayed cool and calm and she was soon able to put out the flames on the tram. Well done, Penny. And working together, Penny Morris and Fireman Sam soon put out the flames on the truck. Last surge of water then, Penny, and it'll soon be out. I'm on it, says Penny Morris. And with that, the flames were out. And with that, the crowd let out a huge roar. And Trevor Evans couldn't thank the firefighters at Ponty Pandy enough. It's all in old day's work, says Fireman Sam. I know, says Trevor Evans, but you were just amazing. Oh, thank you so much. So then guys, if you like toys and if you like Fine and Sam, be sure to touch one of the boxes that will appear shortly to continue the toy fun. It was a very quiet day in Ponty Pandy and Naughty Norman was bored but then he had an idea Can I climb the big oak tree outside the fire station ma'am? Well only if you're careful Norman and don't cause any trouble and with that Norman Price was off to climb the tree and Dillis Price was off to do her stock take she needed to count the sweets. Some of them had gone missing. And particularly the sherbet dip dabs. I wonder where they'd gone. Norman was about to climb the tree. Then he looked up. <gasps> it's higher than I thought. He began to feel a little bit scared. I'll be all right once I get started. And then Naughty Norman started to climb the tree. He was getting higher and higher until he climbed to the very top. Then Naughty Norman remembered a conversation that Mike Flood was having. Mike was saying that the tree was damaged and all the roots were rotten and the tree needs to come down. But no, no. Norman felt the tree move. It started to wobble and sway and Naughty Norman was very scared. The tree was swaying so much and poor Naughty Norman fell out. Naughty Norman fell to the ground. Oh, poor Norman. And he was groaning. Oh, oh, oh my back. Then poor Norman was in real trouble. The tree was still swaying and it fell on top of him. As luck would have it, Fireman Sam was in the lookout of Ocean Rescue. He saw everything that had happened. He immediately sprang into action and sounded the emergency alarm. Station officer Steele alerted the police and he alerted the emergency ambulance service. And of course, Fireman Sam was on his way. But 
best to arrive were two police vehicles. And then Nurse Flood arrived in her lovely ambulance. My goodness, Norman, said Helen Flood. Stay still, we'll get you out of here as soon as we can. Don't worry, it'll be all right. Oh, 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 my back, oh, my leg. Then Fireman Sam arrived with Jupiter and a winch. The police cordoned off the area with barriers. Now don't you worry, Norman, said Fireman Sam. I'll have you out of here in no time. Jupiter started up and the tree was hauled out of the way. OK, Elvis, said Fireman Sam. Back Jupiter up. And Jupiter started to pull the tree out of the way. Poor Norman. The tree was very heavy and Jupiter was struggling and then a last pull and it was off Norman. Nurse Flood and Fireman Sam attended to Norman. Fireman Sam said Norman doesn't look too good Nurse Flood. I know I need to get him to hospital straight away. And Fireman Sam lifted Norman Price into the back of Nurse Flood's lovely ambulance. And off Nurse Flood went with naughty Norman as quick as she could to the hospital. Later Norman Price was fine. He was back home with his mum Dillis Price and was outside the shop, causing more mischief. Oh, Norman, what am I to do with you? Be sure to like this video then, guys, and be sure to subscribe to the NG Tracy channel. Shortly, four boxes will appear. Tap on one of those boxes to continue the toy farm. Hey there boys and girls, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club and today I've got a fantastic toy to share with you. We've got an arcade game, but it's no ordinary arcade game, it's full of things that can help Fireman Sam. So let's start playing. Okay, let's get started. What have we got? It's an oxygen mask. And it's also an oxygen cylinder for Fireman Sam. That's very cool. Okay, let's use our next coin. Who can this be? It's Radar, Fireman Sam's trusty dog. What do we have now? It's a fire bucket for Fireman Sam. So 
let's try another coin. <gasps> what have we got now? Oh wow, it's Fireman Sam's helmet. And also his loud hailer. So there's something missing from Fireman Sam. What do you think it can be, boys and girls? We have one more toy left, so let's take a look. And here it is. It's a fire extinguisher. So Fireman Sam has all of his equipment that he needs to be a good firefighter. Be sure to like this video and be sure to ask your favourite adult to subscribe to the NG Tracy channel. Also four boxes will appear. Tap on one of those boxes to continue the toy fun. Station Officer Steel and Elvis Cridlington were outside the Ponty Pandy Fire Station. They were having a nice chat in the sunshine. And then Station Officer Steel said, Where's Fireman Sam? Well, said Elvis, Fireman Sam said that he had a bit of a surprise and that he will be back shortly. Ooh, that sounds mysterious, says Station Officer Steel. I know, says Elvis Cridlington. Meanwhile, the folk of Ponty Pandy were going about their daily business. Mike Flood had some trouble with his van and he was tinkering around. And Nurse Flood was out and about in her beautiful ambulance. Thank you, have a nice day. She had decided to stop off and say hello to Elvis and Station Officer Steel. Good afternoon, says Helen. Where's Fireman Sam? Well, Nurse Flood says Station Officer Steel, he should be here shortly. He's got a bit of a surprise for us. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Here he comes now, says Elvis. And he's on a quad bike. He's riding it like a cowboy. Ride him, cowboy. Howdy, ma'am. Oh, wow, says everybody. This is amazing. Howdy, it's a partner. It's a 4 by 4 all-terrain vehicle, says Fireman Sam. And it's so much fun. It even has a storage box in the back. We can keep all sorts in here. A mobile phone, extra petrol, a first aid box, and even a fire extinguisher. That's amazing, Fireman Sam. And Elvis got in the box on the back. Let's mount up. They were having so much fun on Mercury. It's such a cool vehicle. guys in the comments below if you like Mercury and if you'd like to go for a ride on the back with Fireman Sam. Please subscribe. Hello there boys and girls. Today we're in Ponty Pandy with Fireman Sam and he's going to show you all his top most favourite vehicles. Let's get cracking! This is the yellow 4x4 state of the art mountain rescue and it comes complete with some amazing sounds. Let's take a little look. Station control. 
control. Next up is Station Officer Steel, and he wants to show you the new state-of-the-art Jupiter. It's got a whole lifting system on the top to rescue people from high up. Let's take a look what else it has. It's got a hose and reel inside and lots of compartments. It's got a whole section here which extends and you can rescue people high or low. But the sirens, the sirens are the best. And now we've got the super amazing Nurse Flood. She's holding her fire helmet just in case and she's right by her emergency ambulance. Looks like Nurse Flood might be needed. Quick, let's turn the ambulance lights on. Penny would love to show you her amazing state-of-the-art water carrier, Venus. This is used to put out fires when a lot of water is needed and acts as a backup to help Jupiter. Let's see what sounds it makes. Penny, let's get the water to that fire right now! And the steps are all ready to walk down. Fireman Sam is all suited and booted and wants to show you Neptune, the sea rescue vehicle. It goes at super fast high speeds and it has safety features where he can stand in and strap himself on so he can't fall off when he's driving it. Let's take a look at him in action. He's strapped in safely now and he's ready to go. Bye! Over here we've got an American fire engine all the way from New York with an American firefighter. Just look at their different outfits and how different it is. A good fireman is never off duty. There's an emergency! There's an emergency! There's an emergency! Sounds like there's been an emergency. Let's see if there's a police officer on hand. Looks like there's an American cop on duty over here. Let's take a look around his huge police vehicle. It looks like it's a Tonka truck.
there at the bottom of the fire station. That looks like Naughty Norman. He looks like he's up to something. Naughty Norman found a fire bucket at the bottom of the fireman's pole. Oh no, how silly Naughty Norman. You've got that fire bucket stuck on your head now. Norman, how silly. It looks like you needed a hand getting that fire bucket off your head. Well, I tell you, stop getting yourself into trouble. I tell you what, to keep you out of mischief, I'm going to let go down the fireman's pole. Come on then, climb up to the top and whiz right down. So Naughty Norman climbed all the way to the top and he was about to go when... Woo! Well, I hope you found that fun, Norman. But no more sneaking into the fire station out of hours. Only come and have a chat with myself or Fireman Sam are here to look after you safely. Four boxes are going to appear now. Click on one to continue the fun. Hey guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club and today we're going to be looking at my top three favourite Ocean Rescue play sets. Number one. Number two. And number three. So let's join Fireman Sam and take a good look around shall we? Firstly is our mini Ocean Rescue playset and we have Fireman Sam racing around on Juno. Starting with the base it has water effect with ripples and, and I'm using Hydrus and Neptune here and it has a ramp that we can wind up and down and we can wind up and down Neptune to launch her into the sea. And a platform either side for mini die cast vehicles so I've got Jupiter and Venus just here and I love the realistic window stickers they're very cool and also there's a helipad for the emergency helicopter and inside Elvis Cridlington can launch Neptune and station officers still can check the equipment. And next we have our medium size Ocean Rescue playset. It's a hive of activity. Let's take a close look. We have the helipad for the emergency helicopter to land onto. And if we turn it on, the lights flash. Also, it can move from side to side. And here we have Elvis Cridlington trying out the fireman's pole. Cool. Super cool. Naughty Norman and the Purple Minion are trying out the station lift. Ouch! Here they come now. Oh dear, and they're falling all over the place. And Station Officer Steel is manning the emergency jet ski controls. And the emergency lock the emergency alarm is sounding. Station officer still says to Fireman Sam, Charlie is in his boat at sea. He needs your help. This is an emergency situation. Sure thing, Station officer still says Fireman Sam, I'm on it. And with that, Station officer still launched Juno into the sea. And lastly, we have the fantastic largest ocean rescue play set. It has a helipad for Tom Thomas to land Wallaby One. It has an emergency flashing light on top of the centre. A balcony with a rail so that you can hold on on a windy day. And a lift that Elvis Gridlington is going to demonstrate for us. So this is the top floor, leading to the helipad. Penny Morris is showing us where the firefighters' safety equipment 
helmets and uniforms are kept and station officer Steele is going to demonstrate the control centre. <laughs> And here's an emergency walkie talkie. What is your emergency? And a special spot for Fireman Sam to be launched on Juno. Yippee! So, a big thank you then, guys, for stopping by and watching our special on Ocean Rescue play sets. Be sure to comment below and let me know which is your favourite. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Shortly, four boxes will appear. Touch on one of those boxes to continue the Fireman Sand fun. Tracy Club. So Fireman Sam is here with Tom Thomas and also Naughty Norman seems to be hanging around as well and Fireman Sam is here to do his daily check on the 4x4 with Tom Thomas but unfortunately it snowed so they're not too sure if they can carry out their checks fully but Let's help them clear up the snow and see what can be done, shall we? We have our trusty large shovel just right for the job of clearing snow. That's right, we'll get it all moving. And naughty Norman can't resist having a play around in the snow. He falls head first. Oh, Fireman Sam thinks he is a silly boy. Come on, Naughty Norman, up you get. Well, Norman, you need to go inside and clean yourself up. Okay, Fireman Sam. And we can carry on with the big clean up. We're getting there and Tom Thomas and Fireman Sam are helping as well. Nearly there then guys, it's just the front of the 4x4 to clean now. So the 4x4 is free of snow and Fireman Sam is going to carry out his checks. So, sirens and lights are okay, tyres and cab all okay, spare wheel seems to be fine. And Tom Thomas is showing Fireman Sam the equipment on top of the mountain rescue vehicle. Climate koalas! So then guys, thanks for dropping in and be sure to subscribe to our channel before you leave. And give us a thumbs up if you liked our video and we really would appreciate it if you would share with your Facebook friends and your Twitter friends and there's a link below for you to do that and it's really easy. We really would appreciate that so take care and bye for now. Hi guys this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. Well you've joined me today and I'm here with Fireman Sam and we're at the Vancouver Fire Station. Fireman Sam is looking rather glum today. There's been so much snow 
and especially overnight there's been a huge snowfall. So he needs big help big time. What's that I hear? Is that Minnie and Eric playing the guitar? Yes it is and he wants to give him a tune to cheer him up. Well, I'm a Sam, thanks Eric, but he needs help of a different kind. What's that Fireman Sam can hear? He can hear the sound of heavy machinery in the distance. He knows what that means. It means the construction of vehicles from Caterpillar. And they will have all of the snow moved in no time. There is a bulldozer, a wheel loader, and we have a dump truck reversing. Good stuff, says Fireman Sam. This is going to be gone in no time. Simon Sam is much happier now that all the snow has been cleared. It was cleared away in super quick time. So Simon Sam decides to offer the very cold guys now a cup of steaming hot hot chocolate. Well done Simon Sam and well done to the construction team. Take care then guys and thanks for dropping in. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and if you like my video please give me the thumbs up. And if you'd like to share with your friends on Google+, Facebook or Twitter, I'd really appreciate that. So take care and bye for now. Pepper Pig and her little brother George have become good friends with Naughty Norman. I know, says Norman, let's take a bath out to sea. OK, said Pepper. She thought it was a good idea at the time because it was such a beautiful, calm day. But things changed. My Flood was at the top of the Ponty Pandy Lighthouse. My blood could see the friends Peppa Pig, Little George and Naughty Norman in a bath at sea. That doesn't look right to me, thought my blood. And then he could see that the weather was turning. There's going to be a storm. <gasps> I'd better call for Fireman Sam. Ponty Pandy now has two ocean rescues and two command centres. We're on our way, Station Officer Steele. We'll take it from here. Station Officer Steele, we need to organise a search party. So, off 
went Tom Thomas in Wallaby 1 and off went Ben Hopper in Wallaby 2. We also need Juno the jet ski and Neptune. So Titan. But not to worry, soon the friends were found. Peppa Pig and George were scared and they were huddled together. But Naughty Norman had more mischief on his mind. Don't worry, says Fireman Sam, we'll soon have you back on dry land. Let's get you onto Titan and let's get you to safety. Well done Peppa Pig, well done George, all nice and safely on Titan. But what about Naughty Norman? Naughty Norman was hanging over the bath and the waves were so strong and before you knew it, he was in the water. This is a disaster. Norman was flapping around because Norman can't swim. But Fireman Sam threw Norman a floating raft and he was soon able to rescue him. OK then, Norman Price says, Fine and Sam, let's get you back to Ocean Rescue. We need to have a talk. We need to have a talk about safety at sea. Please subscribe. This is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So I've got a grabbing machine and I'm going to see what I can grab with the claw. And today we've got Fireman Sam figures and different things from the Ponty Pandy fire station. Taking a bow. Thank <laughs> you. 
in his ocean rescue uniform. Yay! Take a bow, Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam, take a bow. There you go then guys, I'm really happy with my crane haul. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come back for a whole lot more. And next, it will be the Hello Kitty crane special. Take care and bye for now. Hi there guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. So we have Fireman Sam here and uh, Wendy's joined him at the Ponty Pandy Fire Station. She's brought along Venus because it is time for the daily checkup. Well, Fireman Sam was getting a little bit anxious because time is getting on and Wendy was a little delayed. She explained to Fireman Sam that uh, there was a spot of bother with the engine. So Fireman Sam's going to be sure to take a special look at the engine just to make sure that the vehicle is roadworthy and ready to carry out any emergencies. So uh, let's take a look with Fireman Sam and Wendy and uh, let's listen to all the sounds of Venus. It seems to be working fine there and uh, we'll just undo the doors and they're all a-okay and let's have another blast of what it has to say. Everything seems to be a-okay from the outside, but Fireman Sam is going to take Venus to the mechanic, just to be sure. So then guys, thanks for dropping in and be sure to subscribe to our channel before you leave and give us a thumbs up if you like our video. We really would appreciate it if you share with your friends on Facebook or on Twitter and there's a link for you to press below and it's really easy. We really would appreciate it. So. Take care and bye for now. Naughty Norman was feeling particularly mischievous today. It's a Saturday and he was out and about in his go-kart. Dillis Price was just about to shut her shop and said to Norman, you can go out for an hour and then I want you back for your tea. Oh mum, I'll be back, don't worry. And with that, he raced off. I don't know, said Dillis to herself, that Norman will be the death of me. Norman felt that it was getting a little colder and then he noticed it was starting to snow. Oh, cool, he thought, but he didn't realise how dangerous it was going to be. The snow was starting to lay. And then it turned out to be a bit of a whiteout. Naughty Norman was in trouble. He got out of his little go-kart and he just didn't know what to do. But he thought to himself, 
I know, I'll climb up this snowy ridge. And he did. It turned out to be a cavern full of snow and naughty Norman slipped. And he fell right into the centre. Tom Thomas was out and about in Wallaby Hill and he had seen just what happened to Norman so he ran through the emergency to the emergency control centre at the fire station in Ponty Pandy. Simon Sam and Elvis Cridlington arrived in Jupiter and they could see poor naughty Norman Price in the distance. Poor Norman, he really needs our help, said Fireman Sam. I know, I've got a top idea. Fireman Sam popped into the emergency rescue basket and Elvis Cridlington pushed him across the ice towards naughty Norman. Naughty Norman was freezing. Fireman Sam reassured Naughty Norman, Don't worry Norman, we'll have you out of here in no time. Poor Norman was shivering and he was turning blue. Norman managed to pull himself up onto the ridge. Fireman Sam grabbed hold of him quickly and rescued him into the emergency basket. Naughty Norman was safely in the basket with Fireman Sam, but the drama wasn't over. Elvis Cridlington needed to hook up the fire rescue vehicle to the basket and winch them off the ice. This new fire rescue vehicle is a top new addition to all of the fire rescue vehicles that they have in Ponty Pandy, and Elvis Cridlington hooked up the basket with the winch. He was able to drag them both to safety. That was a top job Elvis, but we need to get this young lad home to where it's nice and warm and dry. So they hopped into Jupiter, back to Ponty Pandy. So if you like Fireman Sam, and if you like toys, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Also, four boxes will appear. Be sure to press on one of those boxes to continue the toy fun. It's a beautifully hot sunny Sunday afternoon in Ponty Pandy and the folk of Ponty Pandy are waiting at the tram stop they're waiting for Trevor Evans. They plan to have a trip around the village and to end up at the beach. They are all prepared for their trip. They've bought their swimming costumes. Dillis Price has packed some sandwiches. Helen Flood has got some sausage rolls. And Radar is so excited to be going into the sea and he might catch a stick or two. They had only been waiting a few minutes and naughty Norman Price was already bored. Oh ma'am, where's the tram? Where's Trevor Evans? Norman, behave yourself. He won't be long, said Dillis Price. But Norman wanted to have a run around. So he started to chase the purple minion. But luckily Trevor Evans turned up in the tram in the nick of time before Naughty Norman and the Purple Minion could get into too much trouble. It's a beautiful city liner tram and Trevor Evans is very proud of it and spent all day long yesterday cleaning and polishing it. How do folks says Trevor Evans, right all aboard my lovely tram 
and off we go. So first on board were the Flood family. That's Mike Flood, Helen Flood and their little girl Mandy. They couldn't wait to spend a lovely day together in the sunshine. And next it's Dillis Price's turn to get onto the tram. She's bought a long radar. She can't wait to spend the time by the sea and also with Trevor Evans. She's a little bit sweet on Trevor Evans so she's going to have a lovely day. And lastly Naughty Norman Price and the Purple Minion need to get on. But where are they? They've opened the doors behind Trevor Evans and are going to sneak in there. Oh, they are being mischievous. Well, everybody's on board, so it's time to head off. Trevor Evans was just making sure that his passengers were comfortable. Ah, oh, righty-ho, let's be on our way. Trevor shut the tram door and off he went. But here comes the Road Ripper's dumper truck. It was swerving all over the place. The back of the truck was full of M&Ms. Tipper truck has lost its load of M&Ms and they're all over the tram track and the road. But goodness me, the front of the vehicle is smoking. And the flames spread to the tram. Trevor Evans leapt out of the tram and made sure all of his passengers were standing at a safe distance away. The purple minion was feeling a little scared but Nurse Blood comforted him and made sure that he was all okay. Goodness me, said Trevor Evans. The flames are spreading. I need to get help quick. I need to ring Fireman Sam. Sam now in Jupiter and his bought Elvis Cridlington and Penny Morris to help with the emergency. Elvis Cridlington's in charge of crowd control. He's making sure that everybody keeps well back and at a safe distance, especially that naughty Norman Price. Great fires of London, says Fireman Sam. This fire is beginning to take hold. We need to act quickly, Penny. You go on the super soaker and I'll get the super soaking hose. Penny stayed cool and calm and she was soon able to put out the flames on the tram. Well done, Penny. And working together, Penny Morris and Fireman Sam soon put out the flames on the truck. Last surge of water then, Penny, and it'll soon be out. I'm on it, says Penny Morris. And with that, the flames were out. And with that, the crowd let out a huge roar. And Trevor Evans couldn't thank the firefighters at Ponty Pandy enough. It's all in a day's work, says Fireman Sam. I know, says Trevor Evans, but you were just amazing. Oh, thank you so much. So then guys, if you like toys and if you like Fine and Sam, be sure to touch on one of the boxes that will appear shortly to continue the toy fun. <laughs>